Hello, little kitties. It's story time. Being that I'm not feeling so well, I figured we'd tell the story as the story unfolds. So what should I tell you a story of today? Hmm. Got a good one. Got to come up with a good one. Not come up with a good one. Think of a good one. It's so funny when you put on the spot, you never think. Hmm. Okay, I got a good one. Picture this, the early 90s, I guess, Green Day, Nirvana, everything's all in. Me and my girlfriends, I have this boyfriend, and his one of his friends is like, hey, come over to our house afterwards at night, and um, I'll give you some acid. So we're like, oh, no, we never did no acid. We didn't even really have a small pot or anything like that. So we decided we're going to try it. So me, my two girlfriends, we try it, and we're like, oh, we don't feel nothing. We're driving around, blah, blah, blah crazy shit all I know is that we did start feeling something and I started looking at my girlfriends and they looked exactly like the way you're seeing me right now it was like totally out of control so we're tripping balls and I decide to like go by everybody's house that I know and meanwhile it's like four in the morning and we don't realize it and it's like a, a Saturday night this is the funny part of it so it's a Saturday night and um we're driving by everybody's house, and I'm like, shh, shh, don't let them hear the car pull up, because they're sleeping, so we go by, like, 10 people's house, and we're sleeping, I'm like, okay, hell with us, so then we go to the beach, then we go to Friends Field, then we go, I think, through the car wash, and, um, then we tried to get something to eat, and then we couldn't, and then, like, it was so weird, because, like, we were tripping, and we're, like, laughing all night, like, we were going in and out of bars, using the bathroom, I think we parked the car at one point in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and, like, we started just, like, walking around and car hopping with guys getting in and out of cars, and, like, I, oh, yeah, I remember we got in this one car, and, like, the doors locked, and because I was tripping really hard, I was like, let us out, and he's like, what is your friend nuts, and she was like, just let us out, it was crazy, and we got some Heinekens, and then it was, like, early Sunday morning, and one of my girlfriends did, she was like, listen, I'm gonna get in trouble, I gotta go home, I don't know how the hell she cleaned up her act and went home, but she did. So then me and my other girlfriend, the one that was more of, like, the nicer girl, the crew, the one that, like, I could kind of talk to, and I call it, like, my clueless crew, because, like, we were all snotty and all dressed up, and we lived in the fancy neighborhood in Brooklyn, and, you know, we just, like, going out and stuff, so, like, we were very snotty and stuff, uptight. So it's, like, early in the morning, and she's like, oh, my God, I got to go to my sister's communion, and I don't know if anybody here has ever tripped, but don't ever look at a mirror when you're tripping, because it is, like, the absolute worst, worst thing to do. So she's like, I got to go to my sister's communion. And she's like, oh, no, I can't go. And I was like, listen, I'll clean up and I'll go with you. And we go and we take Puerto Rican showers in the car. Not to be racist or anything, but, you know, as the joke goes. So we wash up, we spray with perfume, we, like, recode our faces with powder. And we're like, oh, yeah, we look, we're like, we look beautiful. We're ready to go to the communion. And... We walk into the communion, and we open the doors, and everybody stares at us, and we just did the jet, like, for two days, riding the trains, is that. Then, finally, when we stopped tripping, we're like, okay, it's time to come home, but it was, like, one of the craziest trips ever. It was, like, bugging, like, hot flashes, cold flashes, wanted to go everywhere, like, it was mind over matter. I, like, I don't know, I must have walked a 100 miles, a 1,000 miles. So, I guess that's the story of my first trip. We'll name this one L S D. Don't do it. Because if you do, you'll wind up looking at everybody. And they'll always look like this to you. So if you want to keep a clear mind, it's hugs, not drugs. Peace out from Busty Bombshell 69.